Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you for coming to this cryptic Sony sponsor session. <laughs> you have no idea what we're going to talk about. <laughs> I like GDC. And for me, GDC is, like Megan says, where I can get a quick snapshot of what's new and trending in the industry. And also, I can pick up a few new tricks about how to make great games alongside with uh, developers from all over the world. After a hectic week of uh, meeting people and attending sessions, I will leave here inspired by some of the session speakers and the people and friends that I kept catch up with. It's particularly exciting. Sorry, I forgot the slides. <laughs> particularly exciting to talk about innovation at PlayStation and what's coming next. Something which we believe will push the game industry forward. Since the early days of video games, the industry has grown by leveraging technological advancements to create new experiences for game players. Experiences that people maybe were not expecting or didn't know were possible. The way we look at innovation at PlayStation is to focus on pushing the boundary of play. It's this focus that drives how we innovate and create new experiences we deliver to gamers. These are some of the technological advancements that PlayStation has leveraged and brought to the market, most recently with PS4, share button, and remote play. And this summer, we are launching PS Now, a streaming game service that leverages Gaikai's cloud-based technology. In some cases, these innovations have turned into standards in gaming that we take for granted today. Virtual reality, or VR. <laughs> you knew this was coming, right? <laughs> it's the next innovation from PlayStation that may well shape the future of games. Let me start first with how we arrived here, our road to VR. Making games immersive has always been one of the goals of game creators. Game developers have used and experimented with technological technologies like 3D graphics, first-person view camera, HD resolution, realistic physics, motion capture, motion input, and augmented reality. All of these have contributed to creating immersion in games. The feeling that you, as a player, are so engrossed within the world that the developer has created. You forget that you are actually playing a game. But nothing elevates the level of immersion better than VR. And it goes one step further from immersion to deliver presence. Rick and Anton will discuss this sense of presence more, which can only be realized by VR. VR has been a dream of many game creators ever since the computer game was invented. Many of us at PlayStation have dreamed about VR and what it could mean to the games we create. As soon as our developers got their hands on the most accurate consumer-level 3D input device, these guys, PS Move, they started experimenting with VR. 
These are photos of me trying handmade VR headsets put together by Santa Monica Studios people sitting somewhere here. The left-hand side photo was taken back in fall 2010. They duct taped PS Move controller on a low-res viewer called Headplay. The right one was in March 2011. They used Sony's HMZ personal 3D viewer, which had a higher resolution. And they hacked God War III into a first-person view arena battle demo, where I became Kratos. And uh, here's a short video of that demo. Thank you. <laughs> so that was three years ago on PS3. And actually, the coolest thing about the demo was when I looked down, I saw my body was that of Kratos. <laughs> that was empowering experience, as you could imagine. <laughs> the next video we showed in public actually, so some of you might remember. this video as a promotion for the PSN title Datura in March 2012. This time using Sony's HMZ and two PS Move controllers, one for, one for the head tracking and the other for the hand tracking. Of course, using the HMZ with narrow view angle was not exactly the total immersion that we wanted, but it was enough to show us the potential of VR for games. Soon after our homemade experiment started in 2010, we kicked off our offshore R&D work to create a VR headset optimized for gaming. We formed a cross-functional global team composed of SCEI hardware group SCEA, R&D, and Worldwide Studios members. This was a similar development process we used to develop PS Vita and PS4, so it's proven to work well for us. By the way, this was a prototype made in 2012 by the SCEA, R&D group, and you can tell they wanted to make the tracking extra accurate. With all of that history, I'm thrilled to introduce Project Morpheus, a virtual reality system for PlayStation 4.
Thank you. And uh, actually, uh, I have the actual unit here. Some of you might have guessed where it is. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, let me show you. Pause for 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this is the culmination of our work over the last three plus years of, to realize a vision of VR for games and to push the boundaries of play. And this prototype is by no means final. And we will continue to work on this to improve, but we believe it's a good representation of how PlayStation will deliver VR. We are very excited to have you try this in our booth starting tomorrow. Yes. And for you to give us feedback. This prototype also serves as the first development kit for PS4 developers who are as excited and enthusiastic about this space as us. We believe Morpheus will further enhance the world of PS4 with seamless integration with PlayStation Camera, DualShock 4, and PS Move. Morpheus will provide an easy to use plug and play VR experience to consumers and will expand the ecosystem of PS4 with another medium for our publishers and developers to create content. We will continue to improve this prototype by getting direct feedback from you developers. That's why we chose DDC to announce Project Morpheus. We'd like to invite passionate and creative developers to innovate with us. And as we were working on this project, we have seen passionate and talented people at companies like Oculus VR and Valve introduce their prototypes and share learnings on this exciting technology. I have an enormous amount of respect for them. And we were inspired and encouraged by the enthusiastic reactions by developers and journalists who tried their prototypes. This shows how all of us as an industry can rally around a new medium like VR to push gaming forward. Now I'd like to turn it over to Rick Marx, who will discuss more about the potential of VR and PlayStation's unique position in the market. He'll be followed by Anton Mikhailov, who will share technical details of this prototype and how developers can leverage it to create compelling VR experiences. Thank you. Station.